So it's how-to demo time again. The first installment here is stipple, which just means little dots. We do not do stipple in pencil, but we do do stipple with pen and ink. It's really easy with these pens to get the dots on there, and we just barely have to touch the piece of paper. From these pens, the ink will flow onto the paper. It's no big deal. First thing I want to do is just get a few randomized dots in that first box. Not dark, but not exactly too light either. To make transitions simple, I like to take my lightest value and just kind of cover all the boxes down to the darkest one before I gradually make things darker. Now I'm ready to start making each of the boxes below the first one just gradually darker than the one above it. I'm going to start by trying to create some smooth and even values of medium light through all of these before I progressively start to make them darker and darker. Now that I've got some pretty good and consistent medium values here, let's go back and start getting some of this dark stuff going on. One of the things that I'm definitely trying to do here is to work in those in-between spaces. You don't want dots on top of dots. You need to give the ink time to dry so that it doesn't create a blob, and you want it to look smooth and consistent. So now that I have a light value, I have a dark value, and I have some differences in between, I want to start to make more transitions and ultimately more contrast. So those two boxes look really similar down there. Now what I want to notice is that the second and third ones up here also look really similar, so let's start to make some changes. feel pretty good about the differences in values between the slightest, the second lightest, and the third lightest one, or the medium. But, but these bottom two, they're too similar. They, they just, the bottom one needs to be even darker. So, you know, it's, it's, it's time to get to work on that one. I'm really trying to pay attention to those in-between spaces, while also paying attention to consistency and smoothness in this last rectangle. As I start to finish up with my value scale here, you know, I took many minutes, five, six minutes, and I reduced them down to, you know, less than 30 seconds there. And what I notice when I kind of give myself a moment is that there are a few places where it's not as consistent as it could be. So filling in those little gaps, um, you know, and, and it's not perfect. It, there's no such thing as perfect, but we want to get as good at this as possible here as we finish up our value scale. Now that my value scales are done, I should be able to notice quite a bit of difference between the top rectangle and the bottom rectangle. Of course, noticing differences in between each one. Next, we want to take this idea of stipple that we just worked with in our value scale and make this circle look like a sphere. One of the things that I want to notice is that my light source is up here in the upper left, and that is going to be creating a highlight on this object. And since I want to make this look like a curved object, there's going to be no stipple up here in this curved area, and then it's going to get a little bit darker and a little bit darker and a lot darker down here. What I don't want is to have straight lines of value. So as I start to ink this, I'm going to begin with the same basic principle that I did up in the value scale, whereas I'm going to kind of cover everything with a really light value, and then with a medium light value, and then gradually get darker and darker. So 
let's try to speed things up. After taking a break and stepping back and looking at this, and of course zooming in with the camera, I noticed that the transitions aren't quite as smooth as they could be. So let's see if we can fix that a little bit. The finished product basically looks like this. You can see fairly smooth transitions. There could be a few more values in there, but this is essentially what yours should look like. Pretty light, pretty medium, pretty dark. Now, of course, it's your turn.